Hi guys! It's time to learn with Dr. Rosa. Today we are gonna talk about vocabulary. If this is the first time that you watch my video, welcome! This is Dr. Rosa. I work at Coventry University and my research focus on the word learning difficulties of children with dyslexia. So today I want to focus on vocabulary and what's the best way for us to help our children to learn vocabulary. And the research that I talk about later comes from Dr. Sarah Smith, who works at University of South Florida, and also Professor Victoria Murphy, and she works at the University of Oxford. So you will know that what we are going to talk about later is backed up by scientific evidence. When it comes to vocabulary, what teachers and parents tend to do is to ask the children to memorize lots of vocabulary. And the issue with that is that we tend to forget about idioms. And the research by Professor Murphy has suggested that when it comes to speech and reading, idioms actually appears for at least 50% of the words that we use in speech and reading comprehension. So what it means is that if our children get the wrong meaning of idioms, this is going to affect their reading or speech to a great extent. Dr. Smith and Professor Murphy has suggested that we can separate idioms into three levels. So level one will be transparent. So the example can be break a bone. Level two will be semi-transparent, which is break the silence. Level three, will be non-transparent, which has idioms like break the ice. So this really inspired me and it makes me think that, okay, I should really make more videos and talk about how can we support the idioms development of our children. So if you like this kind of content, please press the like button so that I will have the motivation to record more videos like this so that you can support the idioms development of your children. Today, I would like to focus on the word break. So level one will be break a bone. And you can give your child an example, which is John fell out of a tree yesterday morning. So we took him to the hospital because we thought he might have broken his wrist. So after they have learned level one, we move on to level two, which is break the silence. And you can give your child an example, which is when there is a new scandal, it is better to break the silence right away and apologize for it than have everyone speculate and guess why it happened. Now let's move on to level three, which is non-transparent. We can talk about break the ice. The example will be, just as I was getting desperate for any simple declarative sentence to break the ice, he spoke. Question of the day, what have you learned today? Do you think that we should spend more time to help our children learn more idioms? Let me know. So if you like content like that, remember to press the like button and also remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can learn more scientific ways to help your children learn English. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.